Galaxy and a single cell RNA seq training on Galaxy. I'm from Elixir, uh, Germany. Uh, so the first thing we have to look at where and what do we teach? Yeah, so from the title, it's obvious that we actually teach on uh, European Galaxy instance. But we are also actually part of uh, uh, Galaxy single cell omics and also uh, close collaborators with the human cell atlas each of which have their own uh, Galaxy instances with uh, customized tools. So essentially we can actually teach on any of these three, so either the open or Galaxy single cell omics uh, uh, server or on the human cell class flavor. So if you don't know what Galaxy is, it's a web-based platform for <clears throat> aimed at uh, uh, experimentalists so it's a platform for accessible, reproducible, and transparent data research. So it mainly uh, uh, allows the experimentalists to easily run their tools and easily create their workflows on a graphical user interface. And as, as it is actually uh, uh, mostly focused on the experimentalists, our participants also, uh, majority of our participants are also experimentalists. So, Hence, we are we we mostly focus on uh, on the on how to analyze the data on analysis steps that's workflow driven, but not we don't teach the underlying methods, the bio, the details of algorithms and stuff. We teach uh, basics of what what the tool does, but we don't really teach uh, uh, how it actually happens in the background. So it's kind of for the people, it's kind of a gray box, but yeah. That's usually uh, enough for the experimentalists to understand. If they want more deep understanding, we have uh, when we, we can talk with them and then explain better what it does. But we mainly teach the usage of the tools. We also uh, we also uh, guide them or on what you what you what you can expect from changing specific parameters of the tools. Hence, again, we, we don't teach again or what the, the parameter the, what the tool parameters does but that's the, what you expect as output when you change the parameters. And the next question is, how do we actually train? Uh, for training, we use uh, Galaxy training uh, materials from Galaxy Training Network. Uh, Galaxy Training Network contains a collection of training materials uh, around Galaxy. So you have uh, in, in the Galaxy Training Networks, they have various uh, diverse topics uh, ranging from uh, genome assembly, ecology, uh, proteomics, uh, metabolomics, transcriptomics, uh, even on machine learning topics. And there are about more than 170 uh, 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 tutorials from these uh, different diverse topics. And all of them are actually built by the community. So everyone is welcome to contribute to the Galaxy Training Network. And we have continuous support, 24-7 uh, support on GitHub metric channels. So as it is a global effort, so there's theoretically someone on these channels to help uh, the people live. <clears throat> but uh, to, to access the Galaxy training material, you really don't have to go to the uh, Galaxy training, uh, 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 training network website. So recent updates actually allow us to click on this, uh, dra this radiation cap icon and then you can actually access the, the whole GTN website, the Galaxy training network website within the Galaxy. And then you can actually uh, uh, oops, you can actually uh, look at the uh, go back and forth between Galaxy and the training material, and you can also uh, really just uh, go to a specific tool and click on the tool to actually open the tool on, on on Galaxy, and then you can run your analysis. This is really handy when you have a really uh, small screens or you have a, a single screen when you when you're taking the uh, training, and you can just simply going back and forth on a single screen. Uh, this is uh, one of the sample tutorials. So this is uh, the single cell RNA se sequencing tutorial for the clustering of CPBN cystic cancer. So each tutorial is actually uh, is, is, is uh, designed thoroughly so that it actually can be used for self-studying. And they are often centered around uh, scientific uh, stories. So for example, here, it's, it's about clustering of the uh, PBM. This, this is a well-known uh, uh, workflow, which is implemented in ScanPy. We actually reproduce this, the, the complete workflow on Galaxy. 
and each such uh, tutorial have certain objectives, what you will learn by the end of this workflow, and you also see your requirements before doing this, uh, this tutorial. So you have to know the quality control mapping and uh, some processing of the single cell RNA, uh, single cell RNA sick data or 10x uh, data set. You can click on the hands on, then you can go back to the uh, uh, these tutorials before coming to this uh, this uh, particular tutorial, and then continue with after once you once you learn them. And we also have a time estimation how long this tutorial usually takes, and then we have lots of supporting materials for this tutorial, like slides, uh, example data sets, workflows, even sometimes there are uh, videos of the complete uh, uh, training session uh, recorded from the uh, the trainers. And you can also see on which uh, uh, Garex instances you can run these tutorials. And going further, you actually have the agenda of what, what can you do in this tutorial. So from this particular tutorial, you have uh, acquiring acquisition of the data, pre-processing, dimensional to reduction, clustering. And each of step, each of these steps have your further uh, subsections. When each subsection, you have uh, really a concrete steps, a Galaxy tool runs and we we, we, we show which tool you have to open, which parameters you have to change, which the input that says you, you have to give and what you expect as output. And we also have some uh, tips on how to change your parameters and some questions uh, to make sure that the, the participants understood the, uh, the, the tool run properly. <clears throat> and here are some uh, Overview of uh, the single cell uh, RNA seq training resources we have. We have currently a total of uh, uh, 12 uh, the training uh, materials that are based on 16 uh, pre processing tools and 8 don't stream analysis tools. Altogether, we have uh, around more than 75 tools on Galaxy currently. And yeah, so these, these are, yeah, these are varying at varying levels. So we also have, uh, 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 best practice on how to use these tutorials. For example, we have, we categorize these tutorials onto different uh, levels of the analysis, the, the first learning resources, and then you have the pre-processing step, then you have the downstream analysis, and you have advanced analysis here. So you can first acquire the, the knowledge on what is single cell data analysis, and then you can go to pre-processing. If you have 10x assets, you can either go to do the pre-processing and then go to this uh, clustering, with ScanPy tutorial or go to the analysis of plants data with a ScanPy. So there are two different uh, tutorials uh, which which use ScanPy to analyze Tenex data set. Yeah, and then you can uh, uh, adjust these, uh, adjust, the, uh, you can learn, once you learn the uh, tutorial, uh, training uh, tutorials, and then, then you can apply them on your, uh, on your own data sets. And the one of the uh, most asked questions to us, especially in the in the in the field of uh, single cell, is uh, the people sometimes feel like they are uh, they are uh, restricted uh, when we have these uh, galaxy-based tools because tools are kind of hardcore, so they are kind of rigid. Uh, so you you we we, we provide uh, uh, numerous uh, parameters to 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 tune in the galaxy tools, but still we cannot provide every possible parameter. For example, in the, for the uh, for single cell uh, clustering. So you, you cannot really, you can provide many uh, options for clustering, but uh, it's actually people ask us, okay, it's actually good to have uh, complete freedom. And that's where we actually have this Galaxy Interactive Tools, where you can actually run uh, uh, an R Studio or Jupyter Notebook or, or select gene visualization normally as you would run on your computer. So this is simply the, the in working uh, Galaxy uh, uh, interactive uh, tools is as simple as running a tool. So you can search for your uh, tool. For example, you can search for Jupyter here on the tools. Then you open the Jupyter and then select the data set from where you want to start and then you you have an interactive session that starts and then you can click on it and then do whatever uh, uh, analysis you want to do. And this is actually, is really uh, into Galaxy ecosystem and you can, you can actually go back and forth between uh, Galaxy and uh, interactive environment. 
So if you have already a well-established tool, you can use this tool. And then if you want to do some advanced analysis, then you can go to the interactive tools and then you do the analysis and then uh, push the output, uh, output of the histories and then you can continue working on your Galaxy tool. So it's actually completely integrated and you have a lot of freedom. So it actually opens up uh, freedom for both the experimentalist and advanced users like plant formaticians. And we also uh, do a lot of uh, training, as I said. So we conducted uh, uh, more than 200 training events and more than 40 of them from, from Germany. And uh, we trained uh, more than 8,000 uh, uh, participants so far. There's always uh, a lot of uh, requirements. So we always get requests for training uh, from the community, Galaxy community. Well, we cannot, uh, so we cannot always offer training by ourselves. So this is kind of uh, hard because uh, we are a limited number of people. So we, it's hard to provide training by ourselves always. So that's why we, uh, we uh, provide something called a training infrastructure as a service which is uh, simply you can use if you are if you are really good at a uh, uh, band formatization that is uh, you are good at a uh, single cell RNA sequencing analysis for example then you can say okay I want I uh, have a, a group of collaborators or uh, experimentalists that I want to teach uh, uh, RNA uh, single cell RNA sequencing uh, uh, and data analysis then you can say okay you can ask us so you can uh, fill in a form then ask us uh, how many participants you want to teach uh, which training materials do, that you want to use. And then we calculate based on the participants and which training materials, which tools you are going to use. We calculate the number of resources that you need. And then we actually uh, cre create a subcluster of, uh, of uh, computer resources. And we also provide a dedicated job queue. And then these are these queues are completely independent from the standard Galaxy queues. So you don't, uh, you'll have a smoother, smoother, uh, execution of tools compared to the, the normal. So uh, interruption, interruption free. And the advantage is you actually don't have to do any Galaxy maintenance. It's everything still under the EU server and no administration required. We just give you a link where you can actually start your training. And you can also see how your students are progressing with the, with the dashboard that we provide. And here's a list of uh, uh, recent Galaxy single cell training events that we provided. So these are all from the beginning of the pandemic. So the pandemic actually, due to the pandemic, we, all, we, all, we had to give all these courses uh, online, which is kind of uh, good for the trainers because with the online sessions, we could teach uh, uh, hundreds of participants simultaneously. For example, uh, last year in the beginning, we had this uh, Galaxy Training Network, Galaxy Training Network uh, uh, training event, which is the largest event uh, training event from the Galaxy Training Network, which uh, uh, which had about more than 1,200 registrations, and we also had uh, offered a plant transcriptoming uh, transcriptome analysis using single cell uh, data. Uh, and there we had about more, more than 350 participants. We also had a training session in the Galaxy Training Week at the Galaxy Community Conference where also hundreds of partic uh, participants uh, took, took place in the, uh, took part of the training events. Uh, we have, st though we provide a lot of training, uh, we, we still uh, suffer with a lack of trainers because uh, even though we provide a uh, thing for thousands of users, there's always after three months or six months, there's again uh, uh, hundreds of users that are requesting for a training because yeah, they are new to probably new to the field and they just got to know about Galaxy and then they got interested and then they asked for the training. Yeah, so we always have this problem that we really need for more trainers. <clears throat> and there's also one more uh, challenge we deal with is prior prioritization of the workflows and tools. There's always our uh, people, uh, or at least advanced users, they ask, okay, can you please install this uh, particular uh, workflow for, or tool for me? Can we have uh, a training material or workflows on Galaxy for, for these tools? Then we had to actually prioritize whether it's actually worth implementing or integrating this into Galaxy because not always all the tools, all the best tools are usable. 
So we also have to uh, make a decision on whether the tool is, whether we want to uh, integrate the best tool or the most usable tool. So we mostly go for most usable tools that use standard data sets, that standard data formats. And we, yeah, we try to stay away from the, the best tool, but still cannot uh, use standard data format. And yeah, hard to integrate into uh, Galaxy. And one more challenge we face is actually uh, training the advanced users like biologists, uh, bio, not biologists, uh, bioinformaticians or people with some programming knowledge. This is a kind of gray area because a lot, there are, there's a lot of uh, diversity in the expertise level of the uh, people. So some biologists are really good at programming. And some are not, uh, not so good, they are beginners. So we, we there is actually a lot of diversity in expertise level. So it's hard to really prepare or develop a training material that actually suits different uh, uh, levels of our people. So we, we have so far like uh, some uh, R and Jupyter, basic R and Jupyter uh, uh, notebook based uh, uh, training materials. That's a, so it's kind of basic uh, R data manipulation kind of stuff, but yeah, we still don't have uh, a really thorough, complete uh, Jupyter based single cell uh, RNA seq uh, workflow. So this is something that we are working in this direction. So with that, I uh, thank all the whole uh, Galaxy Training Network community for the efforts to achieve this uh, uh, great resource. And I also thank you for your attention.